Jingle bell. This week we're making ornaments from items found at the dollar store using DIY paint and iron orchid design. On our last day in France, we visited the French flea market, which left me with so much inspiration for what I like to call the craftiest time of the year. In this video, Melissa, Stephanie, and I make some ornaments, but first we have to warm up with a dance. They really liked our dance. I thought that I would let each of you add to the choreography. So you're going to tell us this in the last... Yes, to I make it spontaneous. To Remember, we have the. I'm spending money like I just got paid. Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change. Come on. I'm gonna add the chicken dance. <laughs> I don't wanna be a chicken. I don't wanna be a duck. So she. I don't know how to dance, so let me see. Come on. And if you're wondering so like why this? I move the way I do. Yep. Good thing we can edit this. <laughs> One, two, three, and shoo! You should say, ow! Like Michael Jackson. Ow! 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 Stephanie is rolling out paper clay from Iron Orchid Design with a rolling pin. And she's pressing cookie cutters from the dollar store into the clay to make ornaments. Are you guys ready to do another video? Ready! We're ready! Santa! Can you see this? B! I tried to use the paint can as a rolling pin, so I guess Zeb made this for That's us. That's so awesome. <laughs> Stephanie is going to spell the word believe. Mm -hmm. So Melissa is going to make some little tiny round fun things. Tree. The French flea markets were filled with all kinds of French millinery and fun components to create with. I purchased many things to bring back to my store and for my own personal craft supply. Through the cosmos and out into space You are my oxygen But you're gone, gone, gone Stephanie is pressing more clay into the trimmings molds from Iron Orchid Designs, which she is going to apply to the top of the letters that she cut out with the cookie cutters. I can do. I've been talking to you Glue your pieces together with Aileen's Tacky Glue and use a toothpick or the end of a paintbrush to create a hanger for your ornaments. We were so close. After the clay dries completely, paint your ornaments. We are using DIY paint in Old 57 and Mermaid Tail and Tomato ink from Iron Orchid Designs. Almost, almost. Here I'm using decrepit dust and clear wax to add some detail into the low spots of the mold. And here Stephanie is just using twine to thread through each letter of her ornaments. IOD sells these blank stamping pads and separate ink. Once you put the ink into the blank pad, what if you want to use another color? Say if you fill this with blue ink and then you want to use yellow ink. Well, I think you'll create a whole nother color. I'm going to stamp some designs into the clay and then I'm going to take a tiny paintbrush and try and make them look yes. like the anthro. I have all the faith in the world in you, mm -hmm. Debbie. Just watch me now. Just watch me. Melissa is stamping into the clay to create small ornaments or pendants with the decor ink from Iron Orchid Design. Just watch me now. I got the sun shining on my soul. Electric current down in my bones. So amazing. Got 
me shake it. Pay attention if you know. Ornate detail was everywhere in the French flea markets, and it inspired me to bring some of that detail into the projects that I make this year. Here I'm stamping into the letters that I cut out from the dollar store cookie cutters using a variety of stamps on both sides. It's really fun to mix DIY paint with the Iron Orchid Design inks. After the paint dries completely, you can press it into the stamp pad for a glazed effect. Here I'm using the white and dark decrepit dust to highlight some of the details of the stamps. First apply the clear wax, then sprinkle on the dust, work it into the low spots, and wipe it back. Artistic detail was everywhere in France, in the architecture, in the gardens, in the statuary, and I wanted to bring some of that back home with me. I think we may be on the wrong side of Pasadena. Being in France was like living in a world too beautiful to be real. For me, mermaids evoke this same feeling. So I painted some plastic ornaments from Michael's Craft Supply and wrapped the sea sister molds completely around them. I know just what I ought to do. Because I wanted the tails to flip out, I used the amazing casting resin. You want to mix two parts together until it turns completely clear. Then wait for the resin to turn white and remove from the mold. And if Jesus returns soon, I poured the resin on the thin side so I could get the mermaid to bend around the ornament. If the mermaid stiffens up on you, you can heat it up and soften it with a hair dryer. I secured the mermaid in place with painter's tape and then painted it again with a layer of layered chocolate. I applied a layer of mint chip over the top waited for that to dry, then applied clear wax and decrepit dust, working it down into the low spots of the mold. Then I applied a light layer of white wax over the high spots of the mold using the cheerleader fan brush from the turquoise iris. My best to follow him to you. I made two more mermaid ornaments using Monet's garden and apothecary using the same process over again. I really like using decrepit dust with the molds because you can intensify the low spots and wipe off the high spots for a really nice contrast. What if we're living in a fantasy? Some world that I could only dream. New colors bursting out of every scene. We sell all the products from Iron Orchid Design used to make these projects on our website. The link is below. With your hip and then down. Oh, up and then down? Yes, yeah, like that, Debbie. And then like you're snapping. And go! I'm spending money like I just got paid. Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change. Come on! We'll be at Girl Upcycled in Zanesville, Ohio this Saturday. There are a few tickets left, 
Check out the link below. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do. Okay, and go. Find DIY paint in your area or to sell DIY paint in your store, check the links below. Thanks for watching. Thrift store shapes, rose, color lenses, and a fake gold frame. Come on.